Welcome to the new version of CityMap. This introductory video will guide you in your transition from the old version. We will step you through features such as using the power search, finding tools such as the property report and the street view, and finding layers and understanding how they've been reorganized. So, let's get started. When you first launch CityMap, you'll need to accept the terms and conditions. Let's begin with the power search. By clicking in the search field, you can find features such as addresses, places, map layers, and tools. For example, you could type in City Hall's address, or you could type in City Hall. Let's begin by typing in the address. You'll notice there's a little drop-down suggestion, and once we click on that, we come to an outline of City Hall's address. If we wanted to search for City Hall instead, we would need to click inside this search field and clear our original search. Now we can type City Hall. Once again, we have a drop-down suggestion, and if we click on it, we'll come to an outline of the building. You can find other features using the power search as well, such as layers or tools, but for now we'll skip over that. To refresh our map, click on the icon in the top left corner. You'll need to accept the terms and conditions again, but once you do that, you can start fresh. Let's check out our layers. On the left side, click on the Layers menu. You'll notice here we have all of our aerial views, our map layers, and a legend. To see a different aerial view, click on the one you want. The map will change every time you click a new view. To go back to the original map, click on the color theme. To enable a layer, simply select the drop-down menu item that you want, and then choose a layer. As soon as you click on it, it'll show up on the map. To turn off the layer, click on it again. Each time you click a new layer, it will appear, and if you click it a second time, it will go away. Now let's check out our tools. First let's zoom in our map so that we get a little closer to some properties. As we zoom in, we can drag our map over something particular that we want to see. From our tools menu, if we click the little arrow, we can select from a number of different tools. Let's try the property report. As soon as we click on the property report, it tells us we need to select a location. Let's try City Hall. Once we select City Hall, we get a property report on the side. All of the blue links are things that we can click on. To close the report for this property, click on the first X. From here, you'll notice your property report is still open, so you can hover over a different property and see a report for that. Once again, just close it out clicking the first X. If you want to close out the entire property report tool, you'll need to click on the second X over here. Now you can select a different tool from the menu. Let's try the street view. In a similar fashion, it's telling us we need to select a location. Once again, let's try City Hall. Now we get a street view of City Hall. To close the street view, click on the first X. To close the street view tool, click on the second X. You can check out a number of different tools from this menu. That's all we have for you today on our new version of CityMap. We hope you get the hang of it soon.